Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, we are still in Sugoi, and of course yesterday we shared our views here as far as the act of distributing food to Kenyans is concerned. But today, I want us to talk about the issue of branding food stuff before distributing it to the people of Sugoi. Ruto has become the first president to brand food and distribute it to the people at a time when we don't have a campaign. He's one year now in office, but he has become the first person to do that. Yesterday when I was sharing the photos, you, could, you, you would see people carrying sacks written President William Samoy Ruto. And the people are discussing about the issue of branding. You brand food before you give it, give it to the impoverished Kenyans. People that you have made poor. The question is, why branding? If it's an act of just giving, why brand? <laughs> and the conclusion is that that act of branding is petty and abuse of presidency. Sorry for that. Now, presidency is the office. So, Ruto is abusing the office in which he is serving. It is petty and abuse of presidency for Ruto to brand food and items in his name. That action alone demean the stature of the office he's holding. So, we are seeing a man who's using his position in a manner that brings down that office. Presidency is not Ruto's property. He's holding it for time. It has a time limit and it will not be in that office. And that is what we should talk about. There's someone who shared this view here and is asking ESCC to take action on Ruto. Waikwa, this is what he's saying. It is utterly petty and an abuse of the presidency for Ruto to brand things in his name. It doesn't, it does not matter whether he bought the food stuff with his own money. His action still demeans the stature of his office and uh, indignifies the recipient. ESCC should act on this. So he has tagged the ESCC. Indeed, it is true. When someone starts branding things in his name and he gives it to you, he's, he's demeaning your dignity. And do you know by the, that act alone, he's already using you to advertise himself. That is an advert he was doing. So first of all, before you talk about getting free food, this food was not for free. Because Ruto used that opportunity to advertise himself. I brand it to the punchline. So, when you are wearing this t-shirt, you are marketing our platform here. <laughs> and in that way, there is a gain I'm getting. I'm using that example. So, wane wanyo wanipewa chakula sugoi, Kama munasema chakula ilikuwa ya bure, Ruto amewatumia kujitangaza. He has used you to advertise himself. And uh, there are other issues people are asking here. Hata kabla tuende deeper into the issue of this brand. Wakati watu wa kliyamuka subui sugoi. Wakaenda kule kupanga laine ya chakula. People are asking, are these the same people 
who are who are, who are telling us that we are wearing sufurias on our head tumeva sufuria when they are busy in their land farming you are busy farming but you are the one leading in queuing early in the morning at 3 a.m. to go and get food in Sugoi. What does this one tells you? <laughs> they told us sisi tunavaa masufuria kwa kichwa. Lakini wale wako busy kwa shamba wanapanda. Unaweza panda aje uvuna alafu uamka asubuhi ya saa tisa uende kwa laini kupanga upewe chakula ya msaada ya buri it explains a lot but again that is not our main agenda here is this act of branding things before you give to people telling us that Ruto has become unpopular in Sugoi <laughs> ame nakusudia nini we are continuing this panel discussion but just a quick request For those who are watching and you have not subscribed please consider subscribing to our returning subscribers and master thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much and back to our discussion you know there is so many interpretation it can only be that you have become unpopular in your village in your home county in your sub constituency eh? sub county it is only that time when you will start branding things in your name to tell villagers who you are because i want to conclude that maybe ruto realize or thinks that the sugoi villagers or residents are not aware that he is president that he is the president Otherwise if you believe that they are aware that Ruto is the president what would be the need of branding food stuff in his name as president William Samway Ruto before handing it over to the poor needy Kenyans That is the interpretation we are getting here now So Ruto has confirmed to Kenyans on camera in Sugoi that his own people have forgotten that he is the president and therefore he has to brand pro food and give them so that they can remember who he is indeed ruto has become unpopular in sugoi what about kenya lazima wakumbushe kwamba mimi ni president william ruto <laughs> but the main issue here is all about abuse of office basi angeandika tu william ruto not president william ruto i have never seen uhuru kenyatta whenever he get out to give food even in mount kenya branding that food in his name in a time like this when people are celebrating ni sato ya kupewa wengine za wadi Kibaki never did that. But Ruto is doing this. He has become the only man who is demanding the office's holding. Abusing the presidency. Just because he want to send a statement to the public, not even to the public, to the village where he comes from. That's why someone is calling ESCC to take action that Ruto is abusing the office using the name of that office in a manner that was not intended for in a manner that demeans the office in a manner that compromises you know it demeans the people that he is giving that food stuffs to in a sheria picha gani umaskini you empower these people Once you empower them wanakuja kwako kwa misaada wanasahau mpaka shida zao kwa sababu tumbo inazaleta shida sana inakufanya unasahau shida zako zote kwa sababu ya chakula ya siku moja hey there is a big problem here so this guy is saying that the 
he is indignifying, indignifying the recipients. Their dignity is going low. Hapo wa baba chakula wa president William Ruto ameandika hapo hivyo. Eh? This is too petty. It is too low. It should not even happen. And indeed, if you are asking who is the lord of poverty, it was evidently clear in Sugoi, Ruto and his family are lords of poverty. They impoverish you, then they come to you with branded food to give you in an exchange for you to advertise them. They should be paid for the advert they have done. Hiyo pia ni sababu inafaa iangaliwe walipwe wamefanya advertisement kwa ofisi yake. <laughs> I don't know your views but let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.